You don't have to be shady, you know. I'm not being shady, I'm just... So this might be a new face for some of you, or you might recognize her face, but I've done one video with her before, and many people know her because of our video that went viral of my name change, where she surprised me. So I will have a link to that in the description box and a link to the video that we did together. But um, the demand has been overflowing for her to appear in another video and specifically talk about my transition. I've asked her to do it for a long time and you're always making excuses. I'm busy. I have a lot of things that I have to do. Okay. You just have this to do. I know, but it, it's, mm -hmm. it's good things, you know? These are kind of like the questions that we get asked the most or I get asked the most about like our relationship. So um, yeah, we're gonna do that. How did you me bring up the subject of being trans to your mother so I actually don't remember how I came out like I don't did I ever like formally come out yes you came out in grade 9 with the uh, talking to the guidance counselor at school I don't you did come out eventually you did come out at the beginning of grade 9 I know I came out to myself on August 3rd yeah and you said that you wanted to go to school wearing makeup mm -hmm. and I was a little reluctant oh mom I had already been wearing makeup though I know it was yes in grade 9 that you were going to a completely different school from your brother that you felt that you wanted to start off with a clean slate so you went to school with makeup on and I was a little reluctant because I was worried about what people were going to think of you and how they were going to react to you yeah so I was concerned for your safety of course like Rightly any so. parent would be but you did go to school and it seemed to be fine. You talked to the guidance counselor and uh, it was through the guidance counselor that I think you started expressing some things. Mm -hmm. And uh, then with the guidance counselor, myself and you and then dad, then that's, we came to that. And I think you also decided that you wanted to go and see the transgender clinic at the general hospital, at the Queens of Crow. No. No, you guys brought the, me there after I had an appointment at Dr. Richley. We did want to speak to somebody. Yeah, about. About being the transgender and transitioning. Yeah. So the second question is how did you react to me coming out as trans? It was difficult. It was. But how it was, was it difficult? Like what, what circumstances made it difficult? I think you were the one that had expressed that you wanted to go and speak to somebody at the children's hospital because you had heard that there was some kind of a clinic there, mm -hmm. or maybe the family doctor or pediatrician had uh, Dr. Richley did. Referred I you. told him about it, and we said we would go and talk to the doctor and we would find out, you know, if uh, what you were experiencing was legitimate or if it was indeed just an impulsive thing that you know was gonna pass. So I still hadn't been completely educated about it. I still had a lot to learn and it took me time. But in retrospect, looking back at everything that Belle was doing and what she was identifying as, it all makes perfect sense. It does make perfect sense, doesn't it? Um, did you experience any memorable emotions after I came out? Anything that really stands out in the way that you felt? Well, I was afraid for you. Did you ever feel anything like you did anything wrong? Like um, you had screwed up as a parent? No, not not that I had screwed up as a parent. I was more concerned. I felt more guilty over the fact that I didn't recognize it sooner and being a healthcare professional that I should have been a little more aware of, of, of trans issues or, or being transgender, but I did not know. Yeah, no, so, that makes sense. So it wasn't something that was really in the media. It wasn't something that people had discussed. No, not until after you started coming out. Yeah. So it was, yeah, it was a little bit shocking. And I mean, everything boils down to, you know, how I feel about your safety. And um, and you do care about my safety still. I still do care about your safety. But at the same time, I want you to be a little more independent. And I want you to take more. That's why I have Tinder. No, I'm not talking about Tinder. <laughs> okay, so number four, did I ever feel scared to come out to my mom? Um, I think I was initially a little bit scared because I didn't know how she would really react to it. I didn't know how she was going to treat me after I came out. So 
I was scared. I didn't want to lose the support of my family. And at the time, I was out as gay. And they were, they were okay with it. And I, I think they were fine with me being gay. But the whole, when I wore makeup, I think that's what freaked you guys out. And you guys were a little, not, not that you didn't support it, but I think that you were just thinking about how other people would treat me because mm -hmm. of it. So I was a little scared. I was scared, worried about but... how other people would treat you and how other people would label you. Yeah, no. And uh, and the risks that it would bring with it. And I, but I do remember a lot when I was younger. Mm -hmm. You would constantly reiterate, reiterate that you love me like no matter what. Yes, I did. You used and I still you do. always said it. You would always say it over and over. You, you like wouldn't you don't, have... you don't care who I am. You still love me. Yes, and you wouldn't have progressed this far had I not been supportive of what you yeah. were going through. And neither would anybody else in your family, in the family, or the whole family, or them, the people watching. How did um, you and Dad react to my transition? Did you ever have like a discussion with you two? Or did you just go with it? Well, I, th I think we, we had to let you go with it. And we had to like, kind of let you experience the path that you I'm were so rebellious on. with that. Yes, yeah, so you of my still transition. are. I am. But in the beginning, I was rebellious because there was still some issues with you guys that um, I was like. Well, we just wanted to make sure that you this wanted wasn't. To, you wanted me to be safe, but the, the, the way well, I, I took that was like, you don't want me to be who I am, so I'm gonna do crazy shit. Well, we were concerned about the potential complications, the, the path that you were going down, and the challenges that it was gonna present to you. Yeah. I mean, for your dad and I, I think we knew that there was always something unique about you, that we knew that there was always something that was exceptional about you, that you didn't fit the stereotype, that you didn't fit the norm, that you were non-conformist, mm -hmm. but that wasn't our biggest challenge about you. There were other things that were far more challenging about you, which you won't let me discuss right now. No, I won't. On camera. <laughs> no. So, um, your transitioning wasn't the biggest issue. No, there were a lot, there of, were other other, a lot of other things that were a bigger issue. Uh, advice um, from you, mom, to mothers of trans people when they are not accepting to their kids. For example, um, their son becoming their daughter, like in your case. Because every parent reflects on it differently, and I think... But I think you guys all have the same initial reaction, right? I think what the parents have to find out is why they are so fearful and challenged by accepting who their child needs to be or who they really are. Mm -hmm. Because I think at that point, I'm not sure, and I can't answer for the other parents. I can't say that. You can give an overall message. As a parent, you're there to teach them how to respect other people, to be a contributing member of society, mm -hmm. to, um, to be kind to other people, and to be true to yourself. And to be able to go into the world and have, have a positive influence and outcome to somebody else's life. And if the parents can't do that for their own child, then... I think if, if I was to give advice to parents, it's just step outside of your comfort zone and think about your kid. And just because you want to protect them does not mean that constraining them to what you want them to be because that's what you're comfortable with, that's not always the best thing. And sometimes the best thing is to, is to let them take a chance, take a risk, because that that could do a lot for them. And you're protecting them more by letting them be who they are. Are you two closer now? Uh, if so, explain. Well, we've always been close, but yeah, we've also clashed a lot. And I think it's because we're both very hot-headed. What's your sign? I don't even want to answer that question. You're Scorpio, aren't you? No, I'm not. Gemini. Nope. Taurus. If you can figure You're out Taurus. if you can figure out when my birthday is, May then you the, can figure out what sign I am. I think my I friend am. is a Taurus, and we get along fine. Oh shit! Then we're gonna fight. Anyway, yes, we're still close. We've always been close. Yes, there are days that she pisses me off. It, yeah, I kind of resented you before I transitioned because I was like envious of you. So it's like, ugh. Mm -hmm. 
And you also, I, I did resent you a lot in the beginning of my transition because you were the one person who was giving me the most trouble. You were the one person who would slip the most up on pronouns and names and you wouldn't let me wear makeup. So I was pissed off at that. I was like, screw you, this is my life. But then I think there was one issue, not issue, there was this one scenario of, uh, I think it was like April 2014 or May. And there was like an explosive fight in the family between me and everyone else because you guys wouldn't call me the right name. And then, I mean, I was a little over the top asking for everyone to do it, but it was like the simplest thing just to correct yourself. And I remember you guys were but like- But it wasn't so simple, Belle. That's the thing, it wasn't so simple. Okay, I didn't know that at the time. Thank you for correcting that. Because- But I still stand by the fact Because that not only were you transitioning, the whole family was transitioning with you. I so was the one dealing with the psychological bullshit, not I know, you but guys. Belle, as a family, you go through things together. If you go through things alone, then you there's no point in even telling us. I went through the beginning of my transition alone. Well, I think a lot of your transition in the beginning, you weren't aware of either. You weren't, you didn't I wasn't aware of it. I was, but I'm just more educated now. And I educated myself on my own too. I'm a... I'm self-made because I discovered Gabrielle. Just like, you made me, but I made me. It's true. Um, how did transitioning strengthen the family? I don't know. I don't really think it did. I think it just made. I don't think. I it think it did. just educated you guys more on social issues. It didn't really change no. the family dynamic. No, it didn't. But fine, family dynamics stayed the same. Yeah. Everybody accepted it. Everybody... With time. Yeah, with time. With time. So, uh, we're going to film part two of this video soon, and that will be up. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope you enjoyed it. And until we see you next time, stay sweet. Bye. Bye.